Welcome back to episode three of the Press Box NIU edition. I'm Daily Chronicle sports editor John Stife, and I'm here with NIU reporter John Sally and sports reporter Nick Gertz. Uh, talking about NIU's loss at Western Michigan, they go to Kalamazoo and they come back with another close loss. Tell us. Yeah, another three point loss for the Huskies. They lost 29 26 up at Kalamazoo. Jerry Keel had to do something he's never had to do before as a football coach. He played three quarterbacks uh, redshirt freshman Chandler Harnish, the incoming starter. Got hurt midway through the first quarter, hurt his right foot. We still don't know the status of that foot as of Tuesday afternoon. So senior Dan Nicholson and redshirt freshman Demarcus Grady had to come in. They both did pretty well, I thought. Uh, Nicholson did what, what he does, and Grady came in and, and ran the ball a whole lot. And I thought that they did okay, but another close loss. All right, and Dan Nicholson takes over for an injured quarterback. We've seen this before. Yes, we have. Uh, unfortunately for Nick Nicholson's, uh, you know, it wasn't like he did in 2005, but still he did. wasn't great, but he wasn't bad either. Put him in a position to win the game and just couldn't pull it out. All right, and uh, Demarcus Grady comes in the game. He ends up running for a touchdown. Uh, he ran every play he was in. He didn't throw the ball. And then uh, that seemed to benefit Dan Nicholson when he came in the game uh, and got mixed in with Demarcus. Never seen Dan Nicholson run the ball before. If you do, it's for his life, pretty much. And I saw that a lot at TCU at the Poinsettia Bowl. But this was a nice little wrinkle to see. I mean, what, a 24-yard gain there? So, I mean, Dan looked pretty good running the ball. So. All right, and uh, there's a bye week this week, and then Indiana State comes up. And uh, what does that help the Huskies as far as the injury status of their quarterbacks? Well, it has to help their health. I mean, Chandler Harnish doesn't have to do anything. Even if he was healthy, he wouldn't have to do anything this week, really. And so it has to help their health in that they have an off week, and then they have Indiana State, not exactly the toughest opponent on the schedule. Uh, Dan Nicholson's shoulder is still hurting. Jerry Kill uh, said today after today's practice that he would be worried if there was a game Saturday if Nicholson had to start. However, they have the off week. It's really not that big of a deal. Seems like we're doing a lot of injury reports again. You know, Larry English obviously with the hand injury hurt his thumb. He's wearing a cast, but he's still playing. Uh, do you see a difference between the injuries this year and the injuries that were mounting last year? Big, big difference. I mean, around this time last year, we were already talking three or four ACL injuries. So, I mean, that's a huge difference. I mean, I know we talked about that at the beginning of the season with our special section about the strength and conditioning program. So you could tell that's definitely having a big impact right now. All right, and, and what do you feel like they'll be trying to do heading into this Indiana State game, you know, playing a 1AA opponent after they already opened the max season? This seems to be like kind of a couple down weeks for them. It is a couple down weeks. I think they probably go vanilla on defense and on offense for the next couple of weeks. They don't want to give away all their secrets to Tennessee and to the rest of their MAC opponents. This should be an easy win for them against Indiana State. All right, but we saw NIU last year lose to a pretty familiar 1AA opponent, right, Nick Gertz? Oh, yeah, I saw you came in here and escaped with, uh, with a surprising victory against uh, NIU. And, you know, I think it was at that time, we, uh, Bobby Narang, who was covering at the time, we kind of knew that Jerry Kill was the next coach for NIU, and surprising enough, he became the coach, so. All right, and thanks a lot for coming back. This is the Daily Chronicles Press Box. Always, uh, you can send us comments or suggestions at sports at daily-chronicle.com, and we'll be back next week to preview the Indiana State game.